Hi, and Hello. welcome to another video. So, I'm Pamela. I'm a registered dietitian, and my practice is in Toronto. Yes, and I'm Andrea, and I'm a vegan mom. We don't know whose channel you're on right now, but you know, we decided we'd get together today and conquer some of the discussion that happens around holidays. Mm. So we've done a video about the recipes that we've made and, you know, where we sourced all of that. But we also wanted to discuss kind of just the emotions and the social aspects. And some real how-to, some practical tips on how to handle family dynamics um, and the holidays yeah. related to veganism. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you start by sharing some of your experience with that, Pamela? Like, Okay. Well, um, I would say... I have a very loving family that I love very we much. Love Care, yeah, I, we love you. We love you guys. <laughs> love you. Um, but there's, other than my own family, my husband and my children, in my extended family, there's nobody else who is vegan mm -hmm. or even vegetarian. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, my family, uh, we have like an agricultural background, so we, I have farmers in my family. Whippy. Wow. <laughs> yep. Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's, yeah. That's going to add some layers. Yeah. Right? So, um, you know, I hosted this year and, uh, so when you're hosting and, uh, you are inviting people to come into your home, um, in our home, we don't welcome any animal products into our home. So, uh, when we're inviting people over, we would, and people would like to bring something and we want to honor that. So you can think about, I, you know, my mom, I love her, but I asked her to bring juice. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, things. simple things, but I could have asked her to bring a salad and just yeah. like specify that it would be a salad with like no cheese or eggs or meat or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you know, people are happy to do those things. I think yeah. if you can be very specific or bread rolls or something that, you yeah. know, uh, it's simple, be simple. Things. Don't expect them to make a recipe that has nutritional yeast in and it. That's or... right. Don't expect a vegan chocolate cake with a flax egg, right? right. Totally. <laughs> no. Totally. Something simple that you can be very specific. Or ask them to pick up a diet cheesecake. It's going to be super tasty. Everyone's going to love it. It's available in, you know, so many supermarkets. Yeah. So just anyway. make it very clear that, you know, in your home, we're going to celebrate a vegan Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and you know, this is what I would love you to bring. And that will be just wonderful. And thank you so much for doing a lot that. Of gratitude, a lot of gratitude. A lot know? of gratitude. A lot of gratitude. Yes. You want to you wanna specify that. And I would say the same thing, you know. Easy, simple um, options. Give them the opportunity to go pick something up at a store for you. Even a centerpiece, especially mm -hmm. around the holidays, to say like, oh, if you could bring a floral arrangement for the table or yes. something can can be something that someone feels special about contributing and if you have someone who's artistic in your family you can give that Absolutely. to them you do it a DIYer people want to feel that they contributed and they want to be recognized for that and something a bit special a bit wow so it's great to yeah. something like that mm -hmm. is is beautiful yeah. or you know if you celebrate with, uh, with a glass of wine then you could specify you know a type of wine that was vegan that mm -hmm. kind of thing that people could bring just yeah give them some direction and uh be forgiving and understanding yes. that they're not vegan but you know and if you are going to someone else's house mm -hmm. what are some tips for you know you're you're this is you're not hosting yes. you are a guest mm -hmm. what is you know, what are some tips to, to navigate that process? Well, I think number one, you do want to bring something that you're going to be able to eat. You want to be able to, you want to be able to eat, you know, so bring something that you're going to love. That's going to feel special and holiday special for you. So mm -hmm. don't just bring like, you know, uh, PB and J sandwich. <laughs> do not right? bring that. Don't, don't no, do that. and don't just bring a salad unless you love. I mean, I love salad, but uh, you know, you you probably want to bring something a bit festive. And there's so many wonderful foods. So bring something that you are going to enjoy. And this is a time to really show off how wonderful vegan food can be. So right? vegan food is its own best advocate for itself because yeah, it's, it's so delicious. It's really right? yummy. Like, oh my God, I'm like struggling yeah. not to eat all right. this right I'm now. like into this pie, <laughs> Sorry. as you've seen. Yeah. But um, anyway, this is a time when you can bring something, celebrate, 
other people will try it and you know what you're probably going to find that everyone at the table is digging into your food and try it and be like wow i can't believe this is vegan like how many mm. times have we oh both gosh, heard that right so many times and so and it's the yeah. time to be a really helpful guest right so just as much as when you're inviting people in and they want to contribute let them know like i'd love to help anything i can bring anything i can do and then you know, that gives them the opportunity to go, oh, okay, you right. know, maybe you could bring a couple sides. Boom. Now, a couple of the sides are, are automatically vegan, vegan you right. know? So, it, and, um, But I know. also want to say there can be an emotional component to that. Oh, yeah. If you're going and you're a guest and you know that at the table there might be um, food that is not vegan, that might be upsetting, it might be triggering for you, mm -hmm. um, you know, I want to say a couple things. First of all, you actually do not have to go. That is one option. You yeah. are not actually required to go. If you really don't want to, you could find another time or another way to celebrate with your family. Yeah. That's possible. And look on vegan groups. Like sometimes there are these vegan Thanksgiving potlucks or That's something right. that you can find. Yes. So look in meetups and stuff if you're looking for your own little vegan community and you just don't feel like you can right. stomach that or heart it. I totally, I totally empathize with that. Uh, you know, you could arrange that you're going to come later, you're going to all go out for a fall walk together, those mm -hmm. kinds of things, or that you're just going to come for dessert, perhaps, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Um, but if you decide that you're going to go, and that's wonderful because it's great to have community with family, if that's what you would like to do, then uh, maybe, you know, take time to decompress a little bit before you go, maybe Prepare do a yourself. little meditation before you go in. Just feel very centered and then maybe have a vegan friend that you can text with or something if it's feeling stressful. Very smart. You can get up and like go outside for a bit or whatever. Just have a little text with a friend and just be able to let off some steam about how you feel. Maybe make a plan for later in the day with um, some vegan friends that you can go out for like vegan ice cream or something if you've got room yeah, in your belly. Yeah, go on F Facebook and go on the dodo. And watch their videos of like, you know, the turkeys at the sanctuary, exactly. you know, something to uplift you again after that. Um, I definitely feel that around the holidays, you know, just a sense of sadness that so many people are giving thanks and like celebrating family togetherness, like surrounded with death like right there mm -hmm. and you know it's difficult for me to you know wrap my head around but more and more you know I've realized the power of positive advocacy and Andrea maybe a few years ago would have you know made some aggressive kind of comments and that's okay if that's how you want to advocate but more and more I'm noticing that I'm getting way further with just being being a really happy vegan like yeah. just being a happy full vegan who's eating you know meals like this and they're like oh there's Andrea she's just vegan and she's happy and then they're like oh this looks nice you know um but it, whatever you can do to get through it that way and use use your friends and your your backup I really do recommend I completely agree yeah. and um you know, I just think that you need to create your own traditions with your own close family mm -hmm. or with other vegan friends and whether it be um, in the fall or in the winter, find other things that you feel are positive. Maybe um, spend time with animals, whether that's at a sanctuary or if it's companion animals, um, find ways to give back yeah. um, to your community, do some advocacy and, uh, you know, celebrate all of those wonderful things about the holidays as well. It's not it doesn't have to always only be the traditions you grew up with. Yeah, I think, you know, just doing something because it's what you've always done is one of the biggest, you know, problems that humanity can get into. We totally. should question our traditions and our practices and always be seeking betterment. And, uh, and vegans are great at that because you wouldn't be vegan if you weren't the kind of person to think critically about things and question and open your mind. So we so know that you can, you can do, do it. it. <laughs> and, you know, and use that time before to just kind of prepare yourself with, you know, a couple of short answers to some of those little criticisms and some of those little, you know, um, 
digs that vegans can get and just, you know, try your best to keep positive and not let them get to you That's because right. in the end, you know, you know that you are doing, you're living a life that is rooted in ethics and morality. And so just remind yourself of that and try to stay positive through this time. You know, it's hard for, holidays are just hard sometimes. Holidays are super triggering. They're exhausting. They're hard for many different so reasons things, at times. You know? and, but they're it's also wonderful. Layer. They're yeah. also wonderful at the same time. So try and get as much good out of it as you can. Exactly. And have a lot of compassion for yourself. Mm -hmm. Plan some time for self-care. And yes. I've Personally, also, I think everyone should be authentic to themselves and where they're at in their veganism, but I always have found the same as you, that being positive and being happy and trying to be uplifted, having compassion for people who are asking me questions has been the most effective way forward for me yeah. as well. I always try to remember that I have not always been vegan. I've had some of those same questions myself in the past. I've probably right. said stupid things oh or whatever in the past. Um, and not, you know, and yeah. so I try to have compassion as well. Yeah, wonderful. I think those are some great tools. And I hope they help you guys through the upcoming holiday season. If you have any questions, please ask us. We will be in the comments. And give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great day. <laughs>